Hi, hello. How's everybody doing? My name is Matthias. I'm co-founder of Billy, and it's a great pleasure to be here on the North stage um, for the first time, or, uh, third time already. With Billy, we are focusing on one of the core problems that businesses are facing today, and that is how and when these businesses need to pay and are getting paid in their B2B transactions. And I brought you one of our customers here as an example. It's a brewery from Germany. And this brewery, on the one hand side, acts as a seller. They are creating craft beer and selling it to bars and restaurants. And then they're issuing an invoice, and they're getting paid after 30, 60, or 90 days. So here, on the one hand side, you have a liquidity gap that this company needs to cover. On the other side, when this, uh, when the customers of this company are not paying, then this company needs to start a collection process and needs to try to chase down the money and maybe at the end is facing a credit default. So here you have on the seller side a liquidity gap and an operational burden to really chase down the money and maybe face a credit default. On the other side, this company also acts as a buyer. They are buying their raw materials, their input factors, at the wholesalers, and here this company is facing quite some severe restrictive payment terms. They cannot choose exactly when and how to pay their suppliers, but they just need to pay when their um, wholesalers are telling them to pay. So taking a step back here, what you see is that this company is far away in their B2B transaction to pay exactly when and how they want, but they really need to adhere to what their wholesalers say or when their customers um, pay them. And Switching to the B2C market, if you're looking at the B2C um, world, this is very different here. In the B2C world, you have other suppliers. You have companies like PayPal, companies like Klarna, who are supporting these B2C transactions. Think about the last time that you, for example, ordered your shoes or ordered fashion or electronic products. Chances are quite high that you could choose how to pay with PayPal directly or with a provider like Klarna in 30, 60, 90 days as a bullet payment or as an installment payment over time. So here, the B2C transactions are a very smooth experience already. And the merchant that is selling this product, they get the money immediately from these service providers and are out of the picture. So B2C transactions have been transformed into a very smooth experience already. And the same thing is not true for B2B. B2B is still somehow stuck in the 90s, very manual processes, and you don't have any service providers here who are helping to support these transactions. And that's exactly what we're trying to do with Billy. Our mission is to really create a B2B world where every company can choose when and how to pay without needing to worry about collections or um, credit defaults. And we're doing this by creating products that are targeted directly at our different customers' needs. And I brought you two of the products here. The first one is our um, SME factoring platform. It's a fully automated factoring platform where small and medium-sized businesses can just upload their invoices, get funding from Billy instantly, and Billy is buying these invoices. And we do all the rest for the customer. We're waiting for the payment. We're doing the payment transactions. And if the invoice is not getting paid, we are initiating collection processes. And we are also taking over the defaults, if there are any. Yeah, so it's a peace of mind product for these customers. They're just uploading the invoices, and Billy does all the rest. And bringing such a model to the mass market is, of course, only possible if you are developing a fully automated platform. So the onboarding process for these SMEs takes just seven minutes. Risk scoring, fraud prevention, KYC, AML, PEP and sanction checks, UBO checks, so everything that you need to do in these processes has been fully automated. And later on, payment processes, collection processes, and the reinsurance of these invoices. All of this is an end-to-end -end, um, integrated platform. So this is the first product targeted at small and medium-sized businesses that can just hand in invoices to us. But then we've seen, look, there are other businesses that also would benefit from these kind of services. So we developed a second product, which is targeted at B2B online shops. And with online shops, business, business transactions are a little bit different to standard small uh, and medium-sized enterprises. Here, the transaction happens in the online shop, happens in the checkout when a customer puts something into the basket and wants to check out. So here, this product we developed here is a fully embedded, fully integrated checkout financing product that lives in the checkout process of each um, online shop. 
And here what happens is the, cu the customer that's checking out can actually select exactly how and when to pay. You can say, I want to pay immediately or in 30, 60, 90 days or in six months or even nine months. I want to pay as a bullet at the end or I want to pay in little installments over time every week or every four weeks. So this is the product here that we're developing, a fully automated checkout financing product which gives you the capability as a customer to select when and how to pay within seconds directly in the checkout. So here we are trying to integrate these lending solutions directly at the point of sale where the transactions happen. And if you want to know how Billy has been doing so far, I brought you a couple of numbers here. The uh, NOAA folks said we should put numbers in the presentation. So here are the first ones. These are quarterly originations, um, quarter over quarter since we started. Um, we're measuring them, of course, in euros. So here um, we've grown last year about nine times, and we are on track to repeating um, this success this year. But what's even more interesting to me than just the pure top-line growth numbers are Actually, if you're drilling a little deeper and asking yourself, so where is this growth coming from? And here I brought you some numbers on customer engagement. What we have done here is we're looking here at monthly average revenues of our active customers benchmarked to when we started in the second quarter of 2017. What you can see here are two things which are, from my perspective, incredibly exciting. What you can see here is that within the cohorts, our customers are doing more and more and more revenue with us. So these customers, they really love the product. They use it even more over time. And what you can also see is that across cohorts, these cohorts are performing better and better and better, meaning we, are, we have been able to ship a product that customers are really picking up and that are really uh, loving to use it. So this is why actually you see the numbers increase on the vertical and on the horizontal axis. But then again, we are a principal risk-taking business. We are really buying these invoices and financing these uh, businesses. These businesses. Um, therefore, just looking at the top line won't cut it. You really need to look at how the portfolio is performing, and that's here our loss rate. I brought you here our lifetime loss rate. We have a lifetime default rate of 0.3%, and this is certainly amongst the lowest ones you'll find in the industry. So that's it from my side. Um, I'm staying here a little bit more for questions. Thanks a lot for listening in.